myself Fahadhal. In today's session, we are seeing that the dollar is again the king, and here we are observing that the cause behind this recent upsurge in dollar is uh, to great extent the rising US Treasury yields. And uh, in uh, today's session, we are uh, looking at the price range of around 1.47 for 10 year Treasury yields. And this is uh, almost close to the highest level for almost a year and uh, fairly close to the pre-pandemic days. And uh, moving forward also, I am expecting at least for next couple of sessions, the dollar to remain on the bullish side and we will see what are the price levels which we can watch out for if we want to profit from this uh, scenario. If we look at the data docket for the day, I won't be going into details of the earlier releases and uh, now looking at the US station, we got this PCE price index data for the month of January and this is uh, even higher than the expectation and for the January, the year on year reading stands at 1.5% whereas the month on month reading is at 0.3% so there is not a uh, surprising uh, upside there but even year reading is of course on the upside and at the same time the personal income and personal spending data was also released and here also there is upswing a marked upswing for the month compared to the prior month and this is also reinforcing the sentiments that uh, we are uh, expecting the inflation to rear its head and uh, maybe not immediately but in due course of time the inflation is likely to move past even the 2% which is the target range for the US Federal Reserve. Just in a while we are also scheduled to get the US Michigan consumer sentiment data and uh, here some moderation is expected for the month of February and uh, we might see the consumer sentiments even on the lower side for this month and this might be happening as uh, people are uh, growing wary of uh, the economic turnaround even though the massive fiscal stimulus is going to be passed and uh, as a result of that the people's uh, consumption power is going to be there but uh, still for US economy as a whole, people are not that a bit as they were just a couple of months back. Now let's move our attention to the technical aspects where we will first see the USD GPS technical outlook and then I will also explain to you the outlook for dollar index. Let's start with the USD GPY first. This is the daily time frame chart and uh, here for uh, today's session, we are seeing sharp moves on both the sides. Earlier in the day, we started close to the 106.5 level and then this uh, dip happened where the USDJPY dipped below even 106. And now, as the day has progressed, we are again seeing the resurgence happening and we are not really far off from the day's highs as of now. And uh, if you consider the daily chart formation, the upside is there and we have this formation of higher highs and higher lows. And uh, right now, the USDJPY is trading above the crucial breakout zone. And here, I think moving forward also, as long as it is holding well above 106, we can uh, continue to look for the buying opportunities on any dip. So in today's session, when we had uh, used the JPY trading close to the 106 level, I think that was a good opportunity to get involved for the fresh long trade. And uh, even now, even though we have already seen upswing, but still I think uh, if in the latter part of the today's session, or given the fact that today is Friday, so because of that, the time won't be much for us to wait and uh, to avoid the weekend exposure, we can even think about getting involved on the Monday trading session instead of going for the day. But uh, still, we will have to look out for the price areas which I feel are important moving forward. So here in uh, today's session, the prior 
swing high, which is there around uh, 106, is going to be of uh, high importance. And I think the USDJPY will be able to hold above this immediate support zone. In yesterday's session, also we saw it holding closer to this uh, prior swing high, and then eventually this breakout happened, and now. As the price action has suggested on the lower side, closer to 106, there is substantial buying momentum also, and that is likely to help the USD JPY in uh, moving forward also. And if you consider the technical formations of pure point series as well as the regression curve, both are pointing northward, and uh, we should also be looking for uh, the opportunity in the direction of the trend. So in uh, this uh, chart you can see that we have this uh, price area of around 105.85 which can be utilized as a decisive marker and as long as price action is happening well above it we can be hopeful of the continuation of bullish trajectory in the USDJPY and even in uh, today's session we saw this low was made exactly closer to this uh, marker area and I feel moving forward this is the price area to watch out for and uh, I would say that if we are fortunate enough to get the entry anywhere closer to 106 or above that in today's session also we can go for that while keeping the stop loss just little below these uh, 200 SMA so this is uh, the price area of around 105.7 should be good enough for any entry anywhere close to 106 and on the higher side we can expect the USDJPY to move past even this uh, today's high established closer to 106.5 and in due course of time even the price levels closer to 107 can be expected. Now moving on to the dollar index. This is the daily time frame chart and here this long consolidation near about the 90 is I think uh, coming to an end on uh, this daily time frame chart and we might see some upswing happening in the dollar index and as a result of that I think uh, we can expect this 61.8% uh, Fibonacci expansion level can be seen in next uh, incoming few sessions so to capitalize on this opportunity we will have to look for the buying opportunity in dollar index and uh, for that we will be mostly relying on the lower time frame chart here we have this uh, formation where the dollar index has spent considerable time almost two months where it has uh, hovered on the lower side but it didn't really break below this uh, prior swing low established in the first week of this year and now it is uh, showing some upside momentum on this uh, level just above 90 so that gives us hope that we might see some sort of reversal happening in the dollar index fortune and in due course of time it can even move past the 91 level so in uh, today's session the price area of around 90.20 which is there around the uh, central pivot point of this month's pivot point series is going to be of high importance and as long as price action is happening above it we can continue to look for buying opportunities here the interesting thing to take note of is this uh, still downwardly inclined regression curve but as the price action has even moved beyond the upper band of this regression curve i think uh, we can expect the dollar index uh, regression curve to flatten in next couple of sessions and then in due course of time we can expect the dollar index to go on closer to even this uh, prior swing high which is there around uh, 91.5 so we have almost uh, 100 uh, basis point upswing possible for the dollar index and in near term we can utilize this 200 SMA zone which is there around uh, 90.40 as our decisive marker so as long as the dollar index is holding well above it or closer to it we can be hopeful of the continuation of this uh, newfound bullish trajectory and on the lower side this confluence zone of 50 and 100 can be utilized as our uh, stop loss so the price zone of around 9.40 can be looked at as a 
desired area for fresh long trade while keeping the stop loss anywhere closer to 90.10 and on the higher side i think uh, as i said the price zone of around even 91.5 can be expected in coming weeks so if you are more into the swing trading you can even decide to hold on to the trade and wait it out but if more, you are more into intraday trade then you will have to work out the rather sharp stop losses and target even though the direction of the trade will remain the same that is on the long side so that's it from my side for today's session if you have any query or any idea to share you can write to me in the feedback section and i will be more than happy to take the discussion forward before i sign off i would also like to remind of the risk associated with uh, trading in the financial instrument and uh, one should be careful while using the information provided a fabulous day ahead thank you all for joining in and have a equally fabulous weekend also see you on monday goodbye